we want to show you something that happened a couple of weeks ago. We've got Deputy McElwain here in the studio, and it involved him. And it also involved what became a very close call as to whether to fire his weapon. I'm just trying to catch up to him. He's going northbound on Barnes Parkway. He's, he's taking off from me. Drop it! What do you have? Drop it! Right now! Put your hands up right now! You do not move! Do you understand me? You do not move! Go to your knees! Go to your knees! Keep your hands behind your head! Lock your fingers! Do not move! Do not move. If you cuff me hard, I will kill your Do family. not move. You need to cooperate. No we do you. We do not no want to hurt you. Inglés. Hurt you. Hey, do not touch that phone. Do not. Do not touch it. I'm telling you. Drop Put what? your hands your straight up. Straight, 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 hands straight up. Hands straight. I'll drop you. Drop you? I'm telling you, don't. You drop you. You're asking me to drop you? No obla and glass. Hey, I'm just gonna cuff him. Yep. If Don't you hard, your family's dead tomorrow. If you cuff me hard, your family's dead tomorrow. If you cuff me hard, just your family's relax. dead tomorrow. Good. Right, stand up, dude. Good. Trash my things. Thanks, thanks. Appreciate just that. Relax. Your family's dead tomorrow. Dude, you know you almost got shot over holding a flashlight at me. Keep talking. Your family's dead tomorrow. Okay. Uh, just relax. Is he spitting? Probably. I got a spit mask. You want me? You want to put a spit mask on him? All right, ready? Yeah. All right, let's have a seat, man. Have a seat right here. So take us back to the to the moment at the beginning when he's got a flashlight that you think may be a gun. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty intense, um, but luckily I had cover behind that uh, gazebo there, that brick gazebo, uh, which gave me that extra second to be able to define what exactly was going on. But did you think it was a weapon? I did, um, and quite honestly, I was I was just at the point to uh, use lethal force, and you were that close. Yeah. It was it was <laughs> it was pretty intense, but fortunately, I've I was trained uh, trained well, and I've worked with two great senior deputies when I got on patrol, and that's the end. But you were there alone at the outset, mm -hmm. right? And that's part of what made it so potentially dangerous. Yeah. All right, we got a couple of questions uh, from Twitter about this incident because a lot of people did watch it as it happened. Um, we've got one from um, at the Josen ninety set nineteen nineteen seventy seven on Twitter. Asking, at, ask J Mac, were you scared two weeks ago when that guy threatened to kill your family? Uh, quite honestly, I didn't have the chance to even really think about emotions. You know, you're dealing with the task at hand, which is that potential threat. Um, you try to keep your emotions low and, and leveled. And then we got another one from at Darian asks, uh, is that the closest you've had uh, to an officer involved shooting? That was the closest. It was ever. Yeah, ever. It was split seconds before uh, to it being a lethal situation. Wow. Hey, Jeff, how long have you been on patrol? Uh, just about two years. Mm -hmm. And um, in just that short amount of time span, this is what can, can be the end result. All right, well, we're, we're glad you're okay. <laughs>